Let's start with Tropical Storm Umberto. 45 mile per hour winds at 11 o'clock came up from 40 earlier. You can see where the it is right now. That's the, the old one. Sorry about that. That's the track right there. It's forecast to get even stronger quicker now. So by Friday evening, 70 mile per hour winds on the cusp of a hurricane. Saturday, 100 mile per hour hurricane. That's cat two, cat three by Sunday evening and keeping it right around 115 mile per hour winds by Monday evening, west southwest of Bermuda at that particular time. So Bermuda really needs to watch this. Now the forecast model suggests that this will recurve. That's the good news that, that this one's going to be the bigger one, the stronger one, and it does look like it's going to recurve. It has come a little bit further to the west, but I don't think the, the east coast, especially Florida, has to worry about that one. Now, about 750 miles away, we have Invest 94L. OK, now the models on this have shifted more into the Bahamas, but then back up towards the Carolinas. Some of them were back here earlier and it may actually get picked up and taken out, but, but we just don't know yet. And something called the Fujiwara effect could happen. This is when you have two nearby tropical cyclones that rotate around each other. And essentially, they need to be within about 900 miles of each other. And there's kind of a central point here. They'll start to rotate. The two we're looking at now are about 750 miles apart. And then eventually, the larger one will absorb the smaller one. They'll kind of rotate around, and then it becomes one low. It doesn't make the super low pressure, but it does absorb one of the others. The GFS kind of shows that this is Umberto. That's 94, which would be Imelda. This is Sunday morning, but it, it more than anything else, it just kind of merges them into one storm by Monday night into Tuesday. But all of that stays just off the East Coast. All right. Now the European, by the way, I wanted to show you this. It brings our rain chance on Saturday with the cold front. We need this because this front pushes eastward and keeps that off of the Florida coastline. That's close. That's Sunday evening with a tropical storm in the Bahamas. That's breezy. All right, breezy, but not an issue for us that way. But you see by Monday evening, there's Imelda, there's Umberto, and basically the European says, OK, let Umberto go. But Imelda gets held back and then pushed back. The models are, are all over the place. This is a very complex system that we're watching here. So we'll keep updating it for you. I don't think Florida is has a big deal right now, but that, that 94 is getting closer to us, which is likely going to be Imelda, and that could really affect our weather as we get into Sunday and Monday. It's nothing major, but we could get some showers and perhaps a breeze. The East Coast will have to watch it for more than anybody else.